go back to the first feminist, Mary Wollstonecraft, mm-hmm. and talk talk about her. Where was yeah. she coming from? Yeah. What would, what do you think she may have been perceiving that was accurate? What was mm-hmm. she trying to respond to, and how yeah. did it quickly go off the rails? Yeah. So Mary Wollstonecraft is is really fascinating because she's called the first feminist. Of course, the word didn't exist then. Um, but I think what a lot of people don't realize is that she's actually responding in a lot of ways to what's happening with the French Revolution. Um, she's responding to Edmund Burke, who's, of course, he's he's writing from England saying, you know, what are you doing in France? I mean, this is a disaster of epic proportions because what you're trying to do is pull down all of the platforms that have been kept your society healthy, you know, in the church and the military and all of these kinds of things. And um, he's writing and responding in many ways to Thomas Paine, who had been a friend of his. And Thomas Paine writes a book called The Rights of Men. Well, Mary Wollstonecraft was a friend of his. Um, She actually met her husband um, through him, although they didn't get together until much later. But um, in any event, she's writing, um, she first writes a book called The Vindication of the Rights of Man. So you take it, you know, play off of Paine's rights of mm-hmm. man. And then she writes a second one called The Vindication of the Rights of Woman. And this is the book that really is sort of targeted as um, the feminist, you know, the first brick in the in the wall of feminism. Um, and it, you know, most people have read it in like college. Um, it is, it's so hard to read. It's so unfun to read. It's just this emotional like scattershot. There's so much going on in it. And a lot of times you feel like, like, didn't I just read this? You mm-hmm. know, she just, there's a repetition. And I'm not the only one that said this. Even her husband, um, William Godwin said this to her, like, why did you write it so unsystematically? And, you know, she didn't respond till much later, but she basically said, you know, because I felt the passion was important and whatnot. So anyway, the, the main thing that she provides you know, the foundation for is this, this idea, which I think you could call um, later became smashing the patriarchy is this kind of envy directed at men um, to get rid of the high, any kind of hierarchy. So the church has to go, um, the military has to go, the monarchy has to go, any, anything that the family marriage. Um, And and she's not that extreme. I mean, there, there's some things about her that I, that are salvageable that I think, you know, she doesn't go that, Okay, that far. But those um, other that's things. the next generation. Yeah, but okay. those other things are what really like are the spark, I think, be- behind it. Um, and she's a woman that she has this horrible life. I mean, she in terms of her childhood, she had this very um, I think her, her father was alcoholic and he was, you know, mercurial. And, they, you know, there's an awful story about him, like hanging the family dog mm-hmm. um, because he got angry. And um, her mother was just this super, I, I guess, submissive is the right word, just awful woman and had, you know, loved the first son and didn't really take care of the rest of the children. So Mary ended up taking care of them. So you can sort of see, and you know, this is the pattern that I also emerges too, is that so many of these women just had this broken, broken, broken lives. And so the response is, well, if this is what broke me, then we have to get rid of it. I mean, over and over again, that's kind of the pattern that comes out instead of saying, maybe we should go back to the 10 commandments and some sort of basic principles of treating people. Um, And that's the other thing that I think is important is Wallstonecraft is responding in a way that she's trying, she's from, you know, the enlightenment era, the romantic period of that era. So she's trying to make her arguments without the 10 commandments, without Mm -hmm. any reference to Christian morality. She's Mm -hmm. trying to sort of grasp at sort of pagan ideals and things like that too. So um, anyway, yeah, I think there's, there's a lot that Mary Wallstonecraft does. I think that, um, you know, again, there are some certain things that she said that were fine. I mean, she was very focused on education for women and things like that, that are obviously important. But um, so she's, yeah, she's that foundation piece. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.